part two of our coverage of this year's Sheffield Hallam University Built Environment Careers Fair, we speak with employers and graduates from previous years who have come to chat with current students about maximising their chances of gaining a place with one of the country's property companies. Just try and think about what makes you stand out from the crowd and how you can sell yourself to employers. It's trying to make your name memorable to people you talk to because it's obviously it's very competitive out there. There's a lot of applicants for very small places, so anything you can do just to make yourself stand out. Um, I think also a lot of people are worried about getting property experience uh, at the moment because it's, it's very competitive even getting work experience. So we're saying to people that you don't necessarily need property related work experience, although it's, it's great to show your enthusiasm, everything, uh, whatever you've done in your past, it will all help uh, as long as you can demonstrate that you've developed some skills by it, then uh, definitely include it in your application. I started the sales in 2007 on a graduate scheme, qualified, went to do city investment, um, and I've just moved back to the West End now in more of a, a global investment role. So we'll be spending a lot of time out in Asia, uh, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, really looking at taking those, those clients globally all across the world. The career fair here has got a lot bigger since, since I first came in 2006, 2007 looking for a job. Um, speaking to Sheffield yesterday, I think it's probably doubled, doubled in numbers. Um, some quite interesting people here, you know, you've spoken to TFL already, I don't think I've ever seen that type of employer here. Obviously they're, they're venturing from north to try and find some good northern talents. Well, obviously work experience is sort of increasingly important because um, you know, everyone's got wires to the fact that you are going to need, need a lot to, to you know, get those interviews. But it's also a case of obviously how people come across um, properties very much people facing, you're going to be dealing with clients constantly. So it's, it's having that confidence, not being overconfident, but being, being able to hold a conversation, hold your own, um, talk through you know, any experience you've done previously, why you're interested in property, um, and sort of you know, have a good reason for, for wanting to enter this industry and, and, and making yourself stand out that way.